so basically uh, uh, as uh, as uh, you probably know uh, the initial results that we've got uh, were a little bit problematic so we had to rethink the whole approach from the very beginning and uh, uh, we've been uh, cooperating closely with uh, uh, different uh, amazing professionals from Corona Y community. And we arrived to a conclusion that uh, one of the matters to be able to extract the relevant uh, papers is uh, a good dictionary, a good keyword uh, definition. And a good keyword definition arrives from N grams, to be exact, B grams and three grams. That means that these are search requests within the data set uh, that uh, includes together two words or three words. Okay. Does it make sense so far? Just me. Yep. Okay. So uh, basically, now we have uh, two pretty good coders working on this task and I will combine the results in something more um, general and uh, we have we have created the trailer cards that kind of uh, uh, ask uh, to find for uh, for keywords now uh, as I've mentioned previously I've talked to uh, MD guys and they ask that there are topics that are urgent. And urgent topic, uh, topics include pulmonary diseases, heart diseases, heart transplant, smoking factor, age and underlying health conditions. Uh, these, are pro uh, these are like the most uh, uh, important and impactful uh, things we can uh, start working on. These topics are relatively uh, popular in the data set and we have from uh, approximately 6 to 11 percent of papers uh, discussing on that. Um, the question uh, as a group? Uh, for example, if you have 29,000 full text papers, okay, for okay. up to up to uh, some topics, for example, like smoking, is uh, eight percent of paper uh, of oh, papers wow. will touch this topic. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you, do you have uh, a table already that outlines um, these numbers? Like the, the yes, relevant? I do. Yeah. Can I you do. share that? I shared it with you. I will share, and I shared it with everybody. Actually, okay. this document now is in. Uh, uh, task risk channel easily accessible for everybody I can repost it if you would like to uh, what's the name of it uh, it's actually in our trail card in resources if you go to a risk task okay okay if you, if you go to uh, um, input li list of keywords and uh, the first one risk factors divided into categories mm -hmm. If you will open that one, you will have, a, I, I, I've, uh, I've uh, uh, kind of created a scoring system from very unpopular to very popular. Mm -hmm. Can you and add for the, example, the glossary for, for these? Like what, what that means? Uh, okay, up to uh, starting from 5%, it's somehow popular. Okay. More than 15% is popular. Can, can someone who has these open share their screen? Yes, I can. Uh, give me Thank you. Can you see it now? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So five, somewhat popular, 15, popular, right? Yeah. And uh, below 5% is uh, uh, somewhat unpopular. And if it's less than 1%, that's unpopular or very unpopular. Now that is de uh, depends on uh, number of articles I've got and it's not elaborated here. For example, if it was 100 articles, it was unpopular. 
it was less than that, it was very unpopular. Okay, so it, uh, under 1%, uh, like... Less than 100 uh, articles, it's very unpopular. Okay, I'll work with you to formalize the structure. I think this is actually the best, you know, way to approach prioritization. And we can create this as a structure to give other teams to do the same thing and give it to their PMs. And yeah, this is amazing. Thank you. So I've done that. I'm not and... totally clear on how that plays in. Is that, is that the, that, that's just how we're deciding which, which results are most. Yeah, so involved. here you, you can see that there are like hundreds of different risk factors, right? And mm -hmm. we're deciding which uh, factors we have data uh, on within the core uh, data set. Yeah, let me explain you the process further. So then I had a conversation with MD, okay? An actual guy there on the field fighting the problem. And out of these factors, we selected pop, relatively popular and the most uh, important ones, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Or it doesn't. No, it, it, it makes sense. Um, I was I was just not sure where in the process this plays into, but you just cleared that up for me. What, what, okay. what is the, what, I, I'm, what I'm not clear on is how, is how you're using this to inform the output and what the outputs are in the process. You said you had people working on it, but I'm a little confused about what the output will actually be. Ah, we are, meanwhile, okay. So let's, uh, one second, I will share in the chat. Like, first of all, we need to create the dictionaries, okay? This is one concern. Second concern is with the help of these dictionaries, get the outcomes. And I will shortly share with you uh, what do I call an outcome. I will send you and what I call kind of a dictionary. I, I, I have created a document that describes, maybe not perfectly, but... Is this something you can share? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sending this document in a, in, a, in a general chat right now. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. So I've sent it. In general? Uh, in the Zoom, I've sent it. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Um, Michael, do you want me to share my screen? Sure, please. Okay. So this is the extraction from the MD, right? Yeah. Okay. And it was compared to something that is doable at all. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I think um, we can dive into this document uh, after the call. Yeah. And so basically, as you can see, it's it's now it's two tasks. One is keyword task, which kind of helps us to uh, define how do we search the result and method sections of the papers. And the desired output uh, is also uh, described in the second section of, of the same document. Uh, and it is uh, actually we want to see uh, risk factors that was res researched. It's a mandatory. Keywords used, it's a mandatory, just to you know understand. Uh, design methodology of the paper, it's really optional because it might be very hard to extract. What you have done, meaning your code and uh, things like that, that's mandatory pretty much. Uh, and the paper ID linked to a paper, sentences, full sentences containing keywords from results section and full sentences uh, containing keywords uh, from uh, method sections, authors, number of times the paper was cited by others, and number of times paper contains keywords. If we have these data, from that point, we can start visualizations, summaries, uh, group papers into those that support the hypothesis and deny the hypothesis to make something that is easily accept, uh, easily uh, easy to access and easy to use. 
if it makes sense. Makes sense to me. That, does it make sense at all? Like, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. That's, that's perfect. This is, that's very straightforward, you know, I'll put to work with. Ah. Thank you. Oh, this is amazing. Now, in terms of resources, we have some LDA book that helps to do search with keywords. We have the data set that Brandon made amazing job. He basically extracted everything. He labeled almost everything. If there are no labels, I have kind of least what the, these labels could be, okay? So if when I, as soon as I have the keywords and uh, uh, Gulerma uh, and uh, Robin, if I'm not mistaken, they kind of uh, work on uh, keywords extraction within the data set. Like it will be a little bit two different pieces of code. One like uh, more focuses on how do we search not just in abstract and full text. And another one is more like to convert existing R code into Python. Okay, if it makes sense. And uh, we have now non-technical guys who are just out of common sense and using existing tools, also trying to create these dictionaries, okay? Why are you converting it from R to Python instead of just running? You can, you can uh, we, have an, we have an R code, okay, that was written by Mark. Mm -hmm. the, the problem, uh, I will send it to, to the group now. The problem with it code uh, with the R is that I thought that it's pretty pretty straightforward for uh, almost everybody who uses Python to kind of jump into R. But by feedbacks, I've got this the following problem. First of all, no, not all Python guys are comfortable with R. With R. This code focuses on a very specific group of keywords and this is confusing, it's not general enough. And, uh, uh, besides that, this code searches only in abstracts, which is obviously not good enough. So the I've problem is you want, you want to build on it to make it better, and the people you have so, work it, yeah. aren't able to work with it, not. Okay, I understand. So we want this co co code to kind of, it's, it's the same idea, to be, ca to be capable uh, to find n grams, okay, b grams and 3 grams, but it should be in Python, and it should talk with all sections of papers and not just the abstract, because that doesn't help much. I think we uh, must have some people who are on, on R, right? But I'm just thinking that it might be easier if there were, you know, someone on our team of these 600, however many people, who could, could fill, fill in and help with just that piece for you. You could get an output without having to put in that I can work. tell you that uh, we don't have kind of much time Okay, and it seems that if I will now focus on finding our people, that will be more time consuming that we can afford yeah, to over you, you, you should definitely not be focused on that, right? But just um, we, we can see if that's there. I don't know if you've already reached out to the group, someone else can do that. Yeah, yeah. the human resources need, yeah, I agree, Michael. So, uh, kind of, you know. Uh, we have to, really we have two two guys working on that. So uh, I will actually uh, uh, connect them to to avoid overlappings and everything. Um, but I hope to get results from that. But meanwhile, while we don't have a code, we have just guys with a good logic and good common sense uh, using uh, using a Threshare tool, okay, which is quite a decent tool. It has its problems and disadvantages. It's not all that pink and nice, but so far it's up to the certain degree helpful. And I can tell you the preliminary, uh, for example, Guy did it, Andrew did it just using the common logic, okay? And he's got an expressions that kind of truly filters, filter the relevant age group. Uh, you can take a look up sentence in, the, in chat here. Like, and it's based on the papers. So he just took all kind of key combinations and tried to search through the two. Okay. 
So persons older than, passions older than, passions not younger than, persons not younger than, etc., etc., etc. This already limits us to, you know, very, very meaningful results. Makes sense. So we will extend. One of the three. things you want for the process is have you, um, have you documented you know, these details you're explaining to us or somebody along the way? I think that's Sorry? my intention with recording these calls and kind of, uh, you know, oh, having. Yeah, we're recording. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. it's, I agree, this is such a valuable piece of knowledge that Maya doesn't have to, time to kind of document, but we need to extract it. Perfect. Which, which one? I think I missed something on here. Uh, everything that you're doing is uh, extremely valuable knowledge that has to be extracted, documented, and shared with the other three teams. But don't worry about that. We'll try to take it. I, I, I just, unfortunately, uh, like, really, my, my main blocker at the moment is hiring process and creating cards, and I do a lot of administrative work and like kind of a lot of high level thinking um, and uh, probably that's why I'm kind of not the most efficient person in communicating what I'm doing and what I'm achieving. So your idea are to, to kind of have these group calls and explain where do I stand, what do I do? It's like kind of amazing. Sounds great. So guys, if you can help me, like for example, to take existing R code on our trailer board, uh, there is a list, okay, that is all uh, orange. It's called data preparation. It contains one, two, three, four, five cards, like age greater than 60, heart disease, lung disease, smoking, a heart transplant, okay? Mm -hmm. If you can take it, each card contains codes that we have so far, background, a link to the main data set that was processed by Brandon and examples of desired output and tool where you can kind of check yourself with no coding. So if you can like kind of jump on that and uh, help me with this task, that would have been absolutely amazing. Okay. Would be so, amazing. Uh, can you uh, leave a comment on that card with uh, like one, two sentences, what exactly has to be done, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll help you. Uh, if you will look at the card itself, I think it's quite... It's okay, quite, I'll, I'll check it out then. Yeah, it's quite straightforward, I think. It okay. includes kind of everything inside. You could just need to read the card. Sounds good. Now, is that, is that actively holding you up from producing other aspects of the results? That is the, the most <laughs> crucial and the most urgent and the most important part of the process, absolutely. And you don't, you don't have a workaround, so you're blocked until that stuff issues resolved. Yeah, absolutely. I can't move, I can't move forward to, to I have the decent dictionary to provide the Python guys and NLP guys with, yeah, absolutely. Okay, and um, all right, we'll, we'll check that out and see, see what we can do for that. That's amazing. So right. do, do, do you guys have any questions so far? I think everything that you're doing makes sense. It's uh, amazing to have this turnaround from, you know, just busy work to the work that is prioritized and makes sense. So huge congrats, congrats on that leveling up. Uh, and yeah, just let us know the needs that you have whenever you, you have them. We're still figuring out the process to assemble those needs in one place and have this you know, HR, PM, entity, take care of them. We don't have that yet. That's why we're, we're gonna do some of these manually for now. So uh, the, the, the guys who are on a call with us, if you like really can help me with that, like based on existing, for example, R code or something, and you can jump in it and bring some results fast. Wow, that, that will be so helpful. Take a look. All right, sounds good, guys. I have to jump out. I think we've covered everything, uh, right? Is From there my side, yeah, absolutely. Thank, thank you for explaining everything to us. This helps, uh, helps both of us a lot.
All right. Sounds good, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye.